This excerpt was taken from the Full and Bloom interview with Wasp drummer Tony Richards. You can listen to more excerpts at fullandbloom.com. I thought the whole lineup was classic. I thought everybody's cool in the band. I remember, you know, I'm a kid just thinking, whatever, man, having your pictures in my fucking notebook. I thought Wasp was the fucking shit. Right, you you and a million others. I remember being pissed at when I found out that you had been kicked out or you left. That's, that's, that's what happened. That's the problem. Blackie, I want to keep saying Blackie and I shouldn't, but, you know, mainly it was him. But him and whoever else he had, you know, involved with him on these decisions and shit, they, they all jumped the gun too soon instead of, you know, the best thing for a new band to do like that with that kind of money and resources behind them is to handle whatever fucking problems everyone has and, and keep it, you know, what, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, in other words. Yeah. You know, what happens here stays here and you do everything you can to glue this motherfucker together to get out there and, and cover the cover your asses on this first record do that first world tour and come back then you start hashing out problems right then if there's member changes or then if there's this or that or you know that's that's the time to work on it uh but they made changes way too soon and that's what that's what ultimately ultimately killed the band yeah, well, I mean, he's fired every single person, some of them twice, you know? Yeah, oh yeah. Um, and Allie talked to anybody who's worked for him, man. Right, everybody always says the same thing. Good to say about him. And that's what I don't think Blackie ever understood, is there's more to, you know, I mean, when it's a band situation, it's always more to, especially then, you know, it was about, there's just certain things about a certain classic lineup, you know? Or those people that did that first record, you know, which to me, I still think is the, uh, Randy said, like, uh, one of the later Wasp albums was his favorite that he wasn't even on. But to me, I think that one is the, the best Wasp record, is that first record. And, and then he changes into, like, a, you know, he's wearing this little fringe stuff on the next record and dancing in the videos, you know? Boy, you caught a lot of flack for that shit. Bottom word, greed. Greed fucked this man up. I'm sorry to say it was, it was mostly on his part. Do you have any memories of uh, doing the videos for Love Machine or I Want to Be Somebody? Yeah. Those ended up being kind of corny looking. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. You know, shit like that used to bug me, you know? The makeup, the, the corny videos and shit. I wanted to be cooler. I thought we were going to be cooler. More like a crew. Bad boys. You know, uh, we weren't that. Even if we were more Alice or partly Kiss or something. You know, but we were kind of in between and nowhere on any of that. So could have easily been though. I mean, you guys definitely had a that's cool. What I mean, coulda, coulda, coulda. Yeah, I mean, you guys had a great image. I thought in the beginning. In the beginning, yeah. See, that's what I mean. The, the rest of the world didn't have to know about our personal problems and shit. Right. We could have worked all that out in that year.